I'm gonna show you how to make the templates for the very easy, readable face mask. So here I have the piece of paper size seven and a half by 10 and three quarter. Okay, so now I'm going to fold a long line And I'm going to fold again. Two four. When you're done folding, this is two fold that are facing to you in front of you, and the big fold is right on your left. The measurement will be very easy. On the top here, on the top left corner right here, you go on to bring in one and half inch one and half inch okay so from one and half inch you're going to bring it in another one inch so one inch is right there four of an inch okay from the bottom right here where the two fold on the side one and a half inch okay so now you're going to form this one one and a half inch you're going to bring in um, bring down to two inch two inch one inch to one and a half you're going to connect the line when you connect the line like this the easiest way I want you to do, you're going to hold this together and this line together, you're going to fold it here. So you see the two that meet together right there. Turn around and I like you to pinch right in the middle. So then you have the center right there instead of measurement. From that to that and then divide into the center. That's crazy. So now I like you to this measurement will be a quarter of an inch is right there a quarter of an inch okay so now you can get the nine inch pot leg or you can get something similar to this i get the embroidering hoop i am going to connect this dog right here that one inch and connect to one inch and half and this is right here the center going to meet right there Okay, so want to make sure this one in connect to this and then the middle right there. Like this. Okay. And then from three third or three fourth of an inch to two inch, you're going to also do the same thing. Get to you're going to connect them together. Just like this. Okay, so now you just follow the line and you cut this out and then you get your own template. You're gonna cut this out on the curl line and then just follow the line only on the line that you draw and you cut, okay? Just like that. Now you have your own template. For your face mask. How awesome. So nice. When you sew, you're gonna sew this too light, this too light. Okay, so everyone, I use this fabric, but you can use any fabric you like. You can place this is two two fabric together I fold and then you can either trace it or you can get the pin and pin this together with the fabric and you'll cut around okay everyone after I cut them out this is what I have okay so I have two of them so I'm going to sew one at a time but whatever I show you here you're going to do both okay so on the let's move to this side so the cut that you cut here, the cut 
right here at the at the one that the pointy and the thing is right here. I like you to sew it together. Okay, so I'm gonna let me show you. Go turn in this way. The cut right here. I like you to sew this, fold this like this, and sew this line. together okay and also this line to this line you're going to sew it together same thing to here you're going to sew it together too okay so now everyone you can start sewing this line on the, on the left side inside out you're going to sew this line together same thing to here you're going to sew this line together okay the pointy and here together same thing to here you're going to sew and this line right here you're going to sew it in okay Okay, just look right here and you see the little thing right here? Don't pan it, okay? So after you sew this two lines together, you're going to get this folded in half. Meet the line nicely like this, okay? So all line up like this, you're going to sew this line all the way to here. Sew symbol, okay? Just do that. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Remember when you sew by hand, I want you to calm and relax and enjoy what you do. And then your your project always come out nice. Okay. You see this right here? You're going to sew up to here. Straight. How simple that is. But when you go into the joy where all the sew line right here, I like you to do more sewing right there because I, wa I want to to make sure all the sew line is secure because the thickness. So go back and forth, back and forth a few times right here, okay? Do the same thing to the other side, very simple. Now you have something like this. You have something like this and you get two of them so you get the iron with your point the poise of your iron and go to the line that you sew right there okay only to that line and go on to the other side you go on to do the same thing only go on to the line okay that when you sew you do the same thing to the other one because you get two of them do same thing. Remember, do the right side. Iron on the right side, everyone. Turn the right side out, just like this. Okay, leave it. You see how roomy that is? That's why it's hard to stand when it just stay by itself. Okay, now you want to have another one like this. Okay, facing out. Um, so the right side touching the right side. So I'm going to put that right in there. And you make sure these two joy is stay together. Like this. Just like the other face mat we do. Clip together and fix around. Okay, you go around and fix it. To see everything light up nicely. Put your hand in the middle, try to move all the fabric out. Get this joy, especially right here. This is something very important that we have to keep in mind. And then move your hand around the fabric and see how they lie up nicely. 
as long as you hold the you clip on one side when you see it's light up and then you can move the other line now it's good you see all light up nicely i'm going to clip this side so let's do it sorry about my my voice stream today everyone because i have a canker sore right in my tongue it hurt Hurts so bad when I talk. So remember right here I told you to sew one inch and then you stop. This face mask is perfect. It go almost to your ear. It's long and it's so roomy. Now get into one inch now I'm going to close this area I'm going to make a few loops and I'm come out and I go to I skip two inches and then I go to the next one I sew the whole thing from the stop about two inch leave it there skip go to the next one this type of face mat when you first start here you're going to make a few loop because this is where you open and close the filter pocket many times. So do a few loop in and now tie this area really good and then move forward. Uh, what I do? Oh yeah, this tie of face mat, you don't need the no bridge for it. Because it stand really hard. So I, I sew here. I sewed it here and I one inch and I stopped for two inch and then I sew all the way over here to this ear side. I'm going to continue to sew. I'm going to close this ear side and I'm going to close all the way. Okay. The only thing that you stop that where the filter pocket and then you stop for two inch. You, you sew one inch, you stop for two inch and then sew all around if you make by the sew if you sew by the sewing machine it really quick this face mat but super super comfortable for breathing breathing is like very important f for everyone especially uh, now you have to wear this mask everywhere you go seem like uh, and also back to school too. Okay, so everyone, after we sew all these together, look at this, how roomy this is. So big in here. I love that. People laugh at me, say every face mat you love, of course I do, because it's from, you know, what I make. So put your hand in the filter pocket here and go into the other end and pull it out. That's why I asked you to so many times here, because you're doing this one time. And then later on, later on, every time you put um, the uh, filter in. Oh my goodness, look at this mask. All right, so when you're inside out, you get the pencil or every stick that you have around the house. You can just put it in with the filter pocket. All right, filter pocket, where are you? I need you right now. Oh, here. Okay, so put your um, pencil in and try to take the so and lie out okay don't poke too hard because you're going to uh, get mad at yourself if you poke the hole okay so trying to get especially in the corner right here trying to like gently poke with the pencil and here too remember you go on this this is like almost the end of your what you're making so all your hard work don't ruin it just take your time everyone pull the light that way you sew press with your finger now 
before you use the iron always everyone does everyone oh my goodness okay so now it's safe for you to use the iron so just get the iron going to the line that you sew So um, I, I'd like to ask you here, my family, my YouTube family here, if you go onto my video and if you see the comment and you understand what it is, sometimes right in the different language, if you understand what it is, can you translate for me? Because I don't understand and I cannot say thank you if what if someone call me bad name and thing like that and I say thank you. I don't want to. You know and also i don't want to ignore people if they ask me question you know so please help me out sometimes i see some spanish um comment there and i don't understand i feel so bad i wish i had i understand everything okay so inside out and outside in whatever iron everything look at this Look how how comfortable it look already. When you fold it, you have a big space right here. Look at this, everyone. Oh, MG, I love this one. So comfortable, beautiful. Again, the fabric. It's your choice, okay? I just happen to have to to like this fabric, and I like to use it. So uh, at the ear loop here, you can take in. You can take in a quarter of an inch. I usually don't iron it. When you sew the, the, the first um, line right here, you go under the fold. So you can hide the knock there and then you just sew. From now, you can just sew like this all the way. Remember I show you? Always do this when you sew the ear loop. Go sew this way. Don't go up straight because you make the um, the sewing line look so blunt. It's not good. Okay, so for the elastic, I'm going to use the pantyhose. This is the black one I have. If you um if you don't have elastic or if you have elastic and you want to make something that make face mat it won't hurt your ear or it is you know it's um try you crazy if you wear that all day pantyhose is the best option that's it my original idea if you see someone using it you can tell them that it's from the students day so now you can take about i would just cut about an inch and half Okay, so just cut it in in half and then you can just stretch it out. You need two because one, when you cut in half, it's not enough for your ear. Because the, the brown one, the tan one, this one right here, you can take an in and, and half and then you, you stretch it out and then you can cut into two ear loop. But the black one is not the same because the... Uh, they're not as stretchy as the other one. Okay, so I need to cut about an inch and a half. Open it. Stretch. People told me just put it in there and then so I'm not doing that. I'm doing my way. If you see, if you see my your way, to go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to cut it in half because, you know, sewing and then have the circle in here and then I have to make sure I'm not sewing on the in the circle is crazy okay so now I'm going to get the pantyhose in here this uh, when you use the pantyhose I cannot tell you exactly the length because when you make it you're going to try it on you and if you if it fit you then you can cut the rest if it too loose then you can um, you can take it in and then cut the rest away. So for me, I'm going just to estimate around here, but I'm not going to tie it too tight. You know, I think I think it around right. Okay, but if you think it's nice, it's it good for you, then you can just 
pulled it really hard, all right? And then cut the extra away. When you take the extra away, you go on to turn this around. And then you go on to hide the knot. Okay, so I hide it inside. Same thing to this side. You can do exact the same. Look at this area one. Just put this away. Look at this. Look how roomy this face mat is. Look how far away from your face, your nose right there. Okay. Look at this. This is for your nose. And then you put your glasses up here. And this is how you wear it. This is for your chin area. It is so pretty. I am going to wear it. And I'm going to show you um, how it look on me. Okay. So this one, I don't have a different size. If you go up and down, but this is feel it really big and it good sign. So if you want to make for a kid, you can go down whatever size I have it there. I don't have the smaller size. Okay. So make sure if you ask me if I want to make for a kid, what size it should be. I'm I'm not gonna be able to answer that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I will put it on and I will show you what it look like. Thank okay, you. Hi everyone. So I finished um, another face mask. So roomy. Look how deep it inside here. Okay. So place the filter in here is the very simple thing to do. Place it in. Okay. Put it in to the end right here. You go on to hold, push it to the, right here, up to here. Hold on to one end and then you spread the other in there. Okay, when it's in there, it's open for you. Okay, right in there. The thing here. All right, so I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you what it looked like. Look at the picture. I love it. Look how roomy that is. So nice. Big room. When you talk, when I talk, I don't, I don't touch the face mat at all. Look at that. And when this is, look, look how big is the, the thing from here to your nose out here. Okay, now I'm going to put the glass on. When you put the glass on, make sure the glass sit right on top of that. So when you wear it all day, it won't cross your, your glasses at all. Okay. None of the face mat, it fuck your uh, glasses only because you don't know how to wear it. But just the way you wear it like this, it won't. All day like that, night and clear like crystal. Look at that. You go on to change the elastic to the pantyhose, you're gonna love it. You don't even feel it here. Okay, thank you for watching everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you share my video, feel free to do so. Ask someone you share the video to subscribe to our channel too. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and take care everyone. Okay, here everyone. This is my sewing machine. I have one, but I just want to help out the people who don't have the um, sewing machine so they can do by hand with me. So this is it. I have it in my um, in my room. Okay, so just so you know and thank you for your all your kindness and um, want to uh, donate a sewing machine for me. I really appreciate it.